Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy Friday. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. It's good to see everybody. Today, we're going to, uh, I want to jump right into our speaking activity. I want to give us as much time as possible today to finish any pending assignments. So just as a reminder, make sure that you've checked your grades, all your grades, but specifically the famous person. We can, uh, ha we'll have time after our speaking activity. Uh, if you need clarification, if you're not sure why you received your grade, what I was looking for in terms of the setup. You'll have time also to complete the interview. If you were not able to complete it yesterday, feel free to complete it today. I received a lot of emails um, and I didn't quite get to everybody's email. So if there's anything that you want me to see before, you're, before you do the interview, if you have not been able to begin it, uh, that's fine. I can take a look at it today in class and hopefully you can complete it today. Um, do try to complete it sometime today, whether it's in class or outside of class, so that we're all caught up. In fact, check all of your assignments. Um, we're completing week 13, so starting next week, we only have three more weeks left of class, if you can believe it, right? So please make sure that you're, you're, you're uh, caught up. Okay, I don't want to go into the last week with a lot of pending assignments. In fact, I don't want to do that, and I don't want you to have to do that. So make sure that you're keeping up, that you're checking Notion. All of our assignments are in there, and um, just make sure that you're aware of what we're doing, the activities that we're, that we're doing for this class. All right, so today we're going to do a speaking activity like we have done in the past. Extra karma points for those who activate your video. If your broadband is just not going to allow that, okay, that's fine, but it would be nice to see uh, your lovely faces today in your speak in the speaking activity. So, yeah, go for it. Um, all right, so I'm going to read the prompt. As always, take notes. I'm going to ask everyone to provide a one-minute response. Okay, so make sure that you write out notes. Write out the organization. What are you going to say first? What are you going to say second? What are you going to say third? Even though it's only one minute, really try to plan by taking notes so that your answer is specific to the question, but it's organized. All right, here we go. I'm going to I'll, I'll read the prompt twice, and then I'll wait a minute for you to respond, and then... I will begin choosing um, speakers. Before we start, of course, I'm going to ask everyone, please, at this time, to raise your hand. So please uh, go to the very top of your screen. There's a little hot hand icon. And I'm only going to choose those who raise your hand. So please raise your hand at this time. Please raise your hand at this time. I don't see any hands raised. Is it working? We did it. Ah, there we go. Now I see some hands. But I don't see, all, that's weird, I don't see all the hands raised. I see Dai, Sana. Can everybody raise your hand? This just makes it easier so I know who I've called. Otherwise, it makes it really difficult. I may, I may call on you twice, unless you want to re say it twice. Uh, please raise your hand at this time.
I only see three people who have raised their hand. Why is that? There's like 26 really? people. <laughs> yeah. Weird. I don't see it. Which is the whole point. If I can't see it. Okay, for some reason, I guess this is just Microsoft. Um, I don't see, I only see a few hands. I only have like four people. So I'm going to ask a favor, all right? I'm going to ask when you complete, once you have uh, completed your response, I'm going to ask everyone to, uh, to leave the class, okay? This just makes it easier for me to call on those who haven't spoken. So I don't have to try to figure out who's, you know. So please, when you finish, just exit the class. We're going to probably take 45 minutes or so. In fact, I'll post in the chat once we've completed. So you can go into your groups. You can uh, work on your uh, podcast while, while we complete the speaking activity, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, but come back. I would say in about 45 to 50 minutes, again, I'll post in the chat. You'll be able to see from outside the class once we've completed. Okay, so please uh, leave the class. Cuando ya terminen con su respuesta, voy a pedir a todos si puede salir de, de la clase. Y regresamos como en 45, 50 minutos más o menos. ¿Vale? All right. Yes, teacher. Are we ready, my friends? Yes, did I wish everybody a happy Friday? Of course I did. Happy Friday, everybody. Here we go. Thank, Thank you, teacher. You too. All right, my friends. Here we go. Oh, this is a simple one. All right, ready? I'll read it twice. How do you acquire knowledge? Give us some examples. I'll read it again. How do you acquire knowledge? Give us some examples. Okay, I'll, we'll have one minute to prepare your response. All right, so let's begin with the first response. Fatima. Fatima, would you like to provide a response? Um, I haven't put any, can I pass for this moment? And is, I don't have a, um, how to say, answer good. Uh, well, I, I need to, I can, I need to, you need to go ahead and try to re provide a response, uh, Fatima. Um, otherwise, it's not really fair if I postpone to everyone. So, if you, if you want to, Provide a response right now. Um, I want to give you an opportunity. Okay, I'm, I'm going to okay. try. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, how do, do I acquire knowledge? Well, I think that um, reading books helped me a lot on that and searching on the internet, like information or some particular topic helps me. Um, I think that also, I don't know, um, let me think, I think that um, creating like notes or something in my book, you know, in my notebook, um, creating lists of the things I want to know or also okay. with a All right, thank people. you. Thank you, Fatima. Next up, uh, Yaisha. Mm, yes, I'm here. Okay, go uh, ahead. Well, how do I acquire knowledge? Um, I think it's about the practice, practicing and reading. And I say practice because let's say that I already have like something um, for this topic, like I know a little bit. And I think reading about that topic and studying and writing down the most important things um, will help me um, knowing more about this topic. So. I think it's all about uh, the practice and and reading. So that's why I wrote down practice to keep that um, whatever topic I am learning to know it like perfectly. Okay, thank you, Yaisha. Next up, Leo. Um, well, I think that acquire knowledge um, through our practice because by another method, it really costs me a lot. For example, um, when I read the information or try to memorize it, um, and the next day I learn everything, but after the weeks or months, I lost all the knowledge that I learned by reading information. So what I do practice it with my classmates, my family, or my friends doing exercise and fun jobs that makes me remember more uh, of information to the homeworks or work can I have in, in the class. For example, in Japanese class, um, I'm gonna try to make different um homeworks and dynamic um okay works. thank you leo uh, yeah <laughs> thank you yeah, you're welcome next up uh next jazz up, uh, uh hi um hi. i usually like to watch videos because reading for me can be boring sometimes <laughs> So when I have to do a research for some work or task, I usually search pages on the internet that are dynamic and colorful and with a lot of pictures and all that. And, and if I don't, I'm always trying to find videos that talk about the same topic. And well, talking about English lately, um, I enjoy a lot watching TikTok videos where the people are talking in English and teaching how to do something. For example, uh, the other day I was watching a TikTok where, uh, where a girl was teaching how to stop using a, a lot a, because we usually use this word uh, a, okay, always. Okay, great. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. 
Next up, Mirna, Jacqueline. You can hear, yeah, the, you can hear me, teacher. <laughs> yes, I can. Okay. Um, well, we basically that basically acquire knowledge. I think since we are children, we can learn well at home on the street or at a school, for example, from asking someone else what is something we don't know. When we are reading books or we or when we watching videos, since currently there are many page or channels that are very educational and actually that help us so much because well much people take the time to explain very well a topic um for example and a new language i don't know when i was learning korean i searched a lot of videos and that helped me so much okay because all right, thank okay. you. Thank you, Mirna. You're welcome. <laughs> Next up, Stefana. Uh, Stefana, go ahead. Uh, Stefana, I'm, we, I'm not ha able to hear you. Looks like your mic is activated, but I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Go ahead. Uh. Uh, still can't hear you, Stefana. I mean, I heard you when you ask, can you hear me? <laughs> but I can't hear you now. Um, okay, I hear you now. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, Stefana. All right, well, maybe try, check your equipment and uh, we'll come back to you. Um, Jesus. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, so I learned a lot of YouTube videos, specifically for some channels <clears throat> like... Aslin X, uh, what I've learned, uh, Pero Esa Es Otra Historia, Jordan Peterson, or I just search for videos like tutorials or, or that uh, kind of videos. Another way is that I search information in Google. If I have an interest in a topic, I search for different sources and sometimes um, Meanwhile, I'm searching the information. I found online books that are really useful. And depending of in the topic, I can ask to the people that I know. For example, if I have a doubt about exercise, well, I can ask to my dad because he's a, a teacher of uh, physics, I don't know. And well, okay. All right. Thank you. Is it Next up, Nelly. Mm, yes, um, we can acquire knowledge when read a book, uh, the newspaper, or read the magazine. And we can also acquire knowledge watching videos about some particular topic like history or culture, uh, makeup, animals, or a particular place. 
And finally, I think we need to take note of the most important in one notebook or the computer and study uh, that every day. Okay, Nelly, thank you. Next up, Vanessa. Here. Mm. Well, I think that to acquire knowledge, it's necessary that we really focus on what we want to study. And that we also practice it daily by doing various activities. For example, in in our case that we are studying English, what we can do is look for some books that help with reading and also when you read, you learn a new vocabulary. For what I do in my case is that when I see a word that I don't know, uh, I look for it in the translator. Or also I see series on Netflix or on YouTube and I put the, uh, the subtitles in English and the audio in English. So in this case, I practice the listening. And also I talk with people who okay. speak English. Hey, thank you, Vanessa. Okay. Next up, Maria Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Well, for me, the knowledge, acquiring knowledge is very important. So I try to, my ways to, to knowledge is, for example, I try to put in my cell phone or in my social media, all in English. I, I mean, like, then the language or um, also see a serial, watch a serial in, in English and well, because I try to well, study English. So another way is, for example, search information of the subject or something. Also in YouTube videos, it's very, it's very efficient. And I think the good habit is also, well, because in another types of, of learn, uh, it's very cool to have good habits because this helps okay. us. Okay. Right, thank you. Learn. Thank you. Uh, next up, uh, Susana. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I remember that when I was in elementary or high school, I tried to memorize all the things but sometimes it is impossible and i realized that uh, for example if you ask me at the next day of the test or of the exam um, uh, a question <coughs> about the, the subject i was like oh, i don't know because i only memorize for the time <coughs> so now i try to understand the topics and then uh, to explain it with my own words and, and for that, um, I read books, uh, I read my notes, I watch videos, and I try to take notes about it. And at the end, I did a, a guide, uh, like for summarize all the topics, and sometimes with, um, I, I don't know how to say, um, como all right. specific. Thank you, thank you, Susie. Uh, Yes. Next up, Adan. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, um, okay. Uh, we acquire language, uh, we acquire knowledge by practicing. Uh, I think that uh, you can get something and or a topic or something, a skill and you don't want to forget it so you will uh, practice it uh, in order for you to uh, to improve to uh, to develop what you learn also by reading books because 
you can learn new vocabulary about what you what you're learning and uh, also when you go to school because uh, our professors are so are people who are experts in the topic so we uh so we get uh a topic more easily and when i return home i can uh i can see what i wrote down or what i heard so i can uh keep in mind what uh, what i just learned also when uh by researching uh, personally i'm someone uh, a little bit all curious right and thank you adan you're welcome next up erica you hear me teacher yes i can okay well i watch videos uh, because help me a lot and i think it is the easiest way for for me to understand a topic so while i watch the video i try to take notes and write keywords and also if some something is not very clear i try to search in books for example, in grammar class, the teacher recommend us several books. And for me, they are very useful because apart from the information, there are some examples. So for me, it's very important to do exercise or try to put into practice what I am learning. And Oh, that's it. Okay. Thank you, Erica. Next up, Monica. Monica, you're up. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, personally, I like to learn uh, watching movies. Um, documentaries, series, and music. Uh, I think it's an easy and dynamic way. Um, also, I think that other good example is talking and practice with friends. Uh, maybe this it could be uh, difficult to find someone here where you can practice, but um, search native, native people in some apps uh, can help you. Other thing uh, that I like to do is read uh, short articles or novels, but I I need to to be really interested in a specific topic uh, because in this way um, I can learn more vocabulary. It's more easy for me. Um, also, the social medias are good strategy to all right acquire thank, knowledge. thank you thank you monica <laughs> okay thank you monse you're up can you hear me teacher yes i can okay so since we are babies everything we hear touch and see is knowledge because everything is new so any kind of information is knowledge for us and when we start growing up we keep this knowledge by having a routine of practice and theory and getting new information from books, TV, magazines, etc. nowadays with the internet. So there also exist different ways to learn, such as listening to music while you are studying, reading in silence plays, or finding other different ways. Okay, thank you, Monse. Next up, uh, Luis Enrique. Mm, yes. Mm. I use many different kinds of how I recall knowledge. 
I read some books of mm, uh, English and also when I do not understand the words, I look for what is, what is mean in the website. And so, and sometimes I do like read what is about the word that I do not understand. And also, when other assignments have some homework to search, I beginning to read what, what is the homework is. Okay, thank you very much. Next up, Elizabeth. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, well, I think that um, you acquire knowledge. Um, it's more about, uh, well, about the edu education that you have or how you are being educated in your in your home with your parents and well because i don't think that knowledge is just about learning stuff in in school it's about um, how to act in some specific situations or things that you are learning every day beside of, of the school so um obviously well you have to like do some research for for getting knowledge to some specific topic that you don't understand or being asking questions about some things that you don't understand and learn, well, this way to learning by yourself and All right. keep practicing. Great, thank you, Ellie. Next up, Donna. Yes, I am here. Well, I think um, we all have different ways of learning or acquire knowledge. Mm, because maybe someone can do it reading, but maybe someone should uh, practice too and to have that knowledge. And but personally, I acquire knowledge. When I read or hear something, but um, for me, it's necessary to take notes. And I think it's very important to pay attention to what you read or listen to, or if you want to have um, that knowledge. All right, thank you, Donna. Next up, Maria del Cielo. I'm here. Okay, go ahead. I believe that I acquire knowledge when I study the subject without distractions. Um, I need to be without other pending to be able to concentrate on the subject. Um, I believe that watching videos on YouTube helps a lot to understand the subject. Um, what I do is practice and do exercise. So that can keep what I study in my memory. Um, when I was in high school, um, the teacher played movies about the subject um, that, that we were going to see that day. Um, I think that also helps a lot to remember events or characters, for example. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next up, Lisette. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I can. Okay. Mm, I think that I have many ways of learning and acquire knowledge. But talking about me, I acquire knowledge through practice. I already practicing helps me to remember things. I also think that one way in which I acquire knowledge is drug videos and related to other things in my daily life. Another way to learn is by teaching or explaining to other person. And when I was on the in the normal of the estado, I learned that we have four theories of of knowledge, the direct, the interpretative, and the constructive, and the postmodern, because um, all the people have different all types. Right. Great, thank you, that's it. You're welcome, teacher. Next up, Maria Fernanda. Ooh, por fin! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I think that you can ha uh, acquire knowledge uh, in many ways, uh, but I think that the most uh, easy way to, to acquire knowledge is to uh, watch uh, videos or watch uh, movies or something like that in English and with subtitles, maybe if you want it in Spanish or in English. And if you can't understand some words, well, you can uh, actually search search it because well that is the way that, uh, that it works for me but I think that uh, you can well you can actually acquire knowledge about uh, having mistakes because if you don't have mistakes uh, you will get like all easy and well if you have mistakes uh, there are going to be people or something that tells you no you are you are wrong and if you are wrong well you have to try to work to to get it right. So I think that uh, the practice and uh, have mistakes, it, that is the way that you can have a, a acquire knowledge. In that okay, thank you, Amanda. Next thank up, uh, Maria Jacqueline. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Well, I think that I acquire knowledge through different strategies, such as um, when I have free time, I start to read my notes, or I start to read books, or also I look for page on the internet that can help me. And sometimes I also start practicing in various exercise that also helped me a lot or develop more skills in a topic that and that and to understand it better and also another strategy that has helped me a lot to acquire knowledge in this situation mm, that we are watching videos on YouTube for example when I, I didn't understand as a topic, for example, in grammar, I am going to watch. Okay, great, thank you. YouTube. Thank you, Jackie. Um, I'm gonna ask uh, respectfully if those who have finished, if you could go ahead and leave the class. When we finish this activity, I'll post in the chat that we finished and then you can come back and you, we can talk about whatever we need to talk about. This just helps me know who is left to speak since I'm not able to see the the hands raised. Okay, so um, yeah, so go ahead and please leave the class. So Erica, Monica, Mirna, Cielo, por favor. Um, and we'll come back here in a few minutes when we finish the activity. All right, next up, uh, Gabby, you're up. Okay, um, I hope you can hear me. I can. But, uh, yay. When I heard this question, I related to the three types of learning that uh, are visual, um, auditive, and 
kinesthetic. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think that is, um, <coughs> sorry, the main ways that someone uh, acquires knowledge because, uh, well, it is different, a different way for each people. Uh, I can be visual and another can be kinesthetic. I don't know. But I think this is very related to the knowledge because like um, I'm going to put the example like we when you're watching a, a, a YouTube video and it is a, a DIY tutorial, you are watching first and uh, then you're listening to the instructions and then you practice. <coughs> Sorry. I think that is mainly how we acquire knowledge, but this depends. It's on every every person and all right thank you thank you gabby i thank love you fair gabby <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> okay next up andrea yes i'm here teacher okay go ahead that it depends on each people we can acquire it through experiences or um, through education itself, but um, it also depends on the way that each um, each one learns, and it could be through videos or doing activities. Some of us are more auditive and others visual. In my personal case, I'm more visual, so I I need to see what I'm trying to learn to make it easier for me. And we have a lot of ways uh, to acquire um, new knowledge because we can uh, watch videos or watch movies. And also I think something that really helps is uh, just practicing by ourselves or practicing with someone else that maybe know more about the topic so I think it's really helpful. All right. Trying to, yeah. Hey, okay, thank you. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> thank you. Next up, Alonso. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, well, there are many forms to acquire to acquire to acquire knowledge. But in my case, I think I acquired knowledge in four principal forms and that are practicing constantly in writing repeatedly, reading and watch videos. And I think this last one in my experience is the one that gives me better results. So it is very good for me <laughs> because it's useful and well, you can see all the progress and I'll repeat it if you didn't understand that uh, at the first time. And so you uh, sorry. Uh, well, you don't, you don't, you know how to do it. And the other ones are a little bit more tedious and with a lower level of success. Okay. But right, thank you, very, Alonso. Thank you, teacher. Next up, Fernando. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, well, uh, I think, well, I know that I acquired uh, knowledge by paying close attention to my teachers uh, and taking notes of the topic that they are explaining. And then I read it, I read it again and I, I look for inform for more information to com to complement my like my idea of that subject, and I also acquire knowledge by seeing images uh, like related to the subject. I think that this is the way faster for me because this caught my attention a lot, and I also used to practice a lot of the things that I have seen, and I try to use or like relate those things in my daily life. And for example, when I uh, when I want to know something about another subject or another topic, I used to read magazines, newspapers, websites, articles, or ask uh, to other people about those things. All right, thank you, Fernando. 
Next up, Carlos. Okay, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Mm, okay, hi. Uh, so the things that I can do to acquire the knowledge are, for example, watch videos on YouTube, read books. I really like read a lot of books, uh, practice and do exercise. I think this is the most important way that you can acquire um, knowledge, vocabulary, or develop your abilities, your skills, or whatever. Because if you don't practice um, every day um, at um, five or ten minutes, you can <clears throat> you won't you won't understand any topic. And no, another way is um, ask to your teachers uh, any question that you have to for some topic, for example. Um, I usually don't um, don't want uh, images or charts that I can use. In All topics, right. For example, thank you, Carlos. Plus, phrases. Thank you. Um, that's it. That's it. Uh, thanks. Right. Next up, Daira. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I watch videos on YouTube when I didn't understand the topic. Um, like for example, in grammar, sometimes happens like um, I didn't understand the topic and I need to watch videos on YouTube or maybe um, ask some of my classmates and they can explain me or maybe other teacher like uh, my teacher Wendy or you like, okay, teacher, can you explain me that topic? Because I didn't understand and it helped me very, okay, so much. And also um, maybe read books or look information in internet, um, read articles or yeah, information in internet. And then I can write my notes like, okay, I understand this or I um, see this in the information on the internet. So I write it down in my notebook and then I can do like exercises or maybe I can look uh, more examples. All right. In Thank you. Thank you, Dai. You're welcome. Next up, uh, Sigrid. Um... Okay, I I acquire acquire knowledge. For example, if it is in the school, I try to take notes, uh, pay attention, uh, do the necessary activities. Or if I don't understand something, I try to investigate it uh, on my own, uh, like on the internet or in a book, or if I have, a, I don't know, a friend or a member of the family that knows the topic, I can ask that person. Uh, or sometimes I like to research interesting things just to get some knowledge, <clears throat> like uh, watching videos on YouTube or sometimes in Facebook, or reading articles on the internet, or, for example, also if I don't understand All right. a Thank topic. Thank you. Thank you, Sigrid. <laughs> okay. Next up, uh, Refugio. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. I think uh, how to how to get knowledge. I think the the base of the knowledge as everything could be learning. So it depends on the way that uh, every of us can can do it and can be easier for us. Um, I recommend to put some objective, try to find what is your goal or set some objective, uh, some time to set this and reach it. Um, and a second step, the way of learning, you can detect how how you learn, how, um, what are your skills? For example, you learn by reading something or by watching some, I mean, 
of love and um doing some music or doing some manual stuff all right Other things great that thank you, you. Remember. thank you okay. you're welcome next up uh, maria de la cruz uh, yes i think we learn better if we practice the thing that we are learning when someone explains to me i like to practice and practice until i i can or i am sure uh, i learn in it if i else yes yeah, sir if i see the things that i i must learn to do it faster if if you if just listening i i think it's more difficult for me and i need to be very concentrated because if i am not concentrated i feel that i i don't know to learn all much. right thank you thank you maria Next up, Tanya. Tanya, you're up. Yes, teacher. I'm here. Okay. I think like to acquire knowledge, first of all, you're gonna you gotta want to to get the knowledge. There's a lot of uh, activities that you can do. For example, in my case. I like too much to be reading and, for example, to, uh, to acquire information uh, of a text. If I don't get words, I, I'll, I take them and I look for them in, in Google. And the other thing is uh, put a lot of attention. Uh, I think that our view is very important. I learn by my view and hearing things. Uh, I'm very good memorizing, so I put there enough attention and I said, like processing the information in my mind. Um, another thing is, for example, if you want to, to learn English, for example, it's a knowledge, uh, start practicing it. But by your writing, you memorize. Things. All right. Great. Thank you, and, Tanya. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, next up, Alexia. Hey, go ahead. In general, I try to like see on the internet some for information that I'm looking for. And if I actually try to do like notes or resumes of my investigation, so if I have a doubt, I can see it next in my notebook to see like the resume. But if I want to like learn a language, I always try to see videos or movies, for example, in English with subtitles in English. That helps me a lot. Or for example, if I want to learn Japanese, I have to be really, really constant and have like an effort and practice a lot because it requires a lot of time. But I tried like to do an effort. And always try like to do notes. It helps me a lot to have notes and see videos, but especially in natives. All right. And actually, great. Thank you, yeah. Alexia. You're welcome. Next up, uh, Nancy. Um, hello. Uh, I acquire knowledge on searching information in internet or searching images with summarize things or keywords. Um, I also like watch uh, news and uh, videos. Uh, for for I try to speak or ask uh, persons that I have uh, know about the topic that I want to acquire knowledge. Um, I like to read books because I think uh, 
the books um, have lots of valuable valuable information and I like to watch Netflix with a series with sub, subtitles, I don't know how to say, um, in English because um, I, I live All right, in thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Next up, Diana. Yes, teacher. The way that I in which I acquire knowledge is that, for example, if in the classes I don't understand something, I look for the topic on the internet to understand more on different pages to have a more complete. Also, another thing that I do is that in the writing and grammar classes, uh, when the classes are over, I read again the pages that we saw in the class and all the theoretical part. And so and in that way, the subject is already clear to me. And when I want to learn about a subject, but make it a little more dynamic and without getting bored, I watch videos on YouTube and I also manage to understand about the subject that I'm looking for. Another thing is watch movies and series in English because uh, it has helped me so much because at, in the beginning I can understand the words and now I can understand. And if doing all of this, even the subject Okay, not, great. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, teacher. And next up, uh, Nydalene. Yes, teacher. Um, knowledge is acquiring my way of, of seeing by information that they tell your trial experience or how they give to you in the family. In the family, you are so acquiring knowledge and also travel perspective. You can acquire knowledge and watching movies leave you are learning. If you watch movies in English, you learn new vocabulary. Uh, the homework, watching videos of the topics might you learn. Uh, there are different ways of acquiring knowledge. Um, the way that I think you acquire more knowledge is through the experience that you go through every day. Um, they making mistakes also make you learn and explore many more things. Um, so, so just practicing make important notes. All uh, right, maybe... great. Thank you, Nadeline. Thank you, teacher. Let me post. I think if have I given everyone an opportunity to speak? Jerry. Yes. Mm, puedo. Can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, I gain knowledge by studying after school and practicing with the teachers. The SSI, the SSI. Mm, let's do it. I watch videos, English song, videos, and listening music. Okay, thank you, Stefana. All right, I think uh, folks are coming back. Uh, I want to spend the rest of today, guys, to give you an opportunity to finish any pending assignments that you still need to complete. 
If you need to work on your podcast for this week, you can do that. If you need to finish your interview, you can do that. If you need to still maybe redo a video or two from last week's famous person assignment, you may do that. Um, I'm going to take time also. Uh, some of you are sending messages. If you want me to look at your interviews, I can also do that. If you want me to look at that before you do your interview. If you feel that you that your interview that your guide is complete, that you know, then go right ahead and do the um, do your recording. I'm going to ask that all the recordings go into your respective channel in Microsoft Teams under files under this week's folder week 13. So just record your online meeting as you've done in the past. Remember one video for both interviews. So the video should last between 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure that you're looking at the Notion page with what makes a good performance, where there's a list of eight different items and points that are assigned to each of those points. So use that as a guide also in preparing and completing your video, your interview video. Okay, so any questions, guys, or anything that you want me to check? Yes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys. If you have questions, just jump right in, or if you, I'll be checking my chat um, as well. I'll be checking my messages uh, in uh, Microsoft Teams. Okay. We will uh, reconvene at 940 to close the class. Okay, you too. All right, everyone, it's 940. I think we'll go ahead and uh, stop there for today. Try to complete the pending items, the, the pending assignments that you have for this week. Are there any questions about anything that needs to be completed for this week? No. No, teacher. teacher. All right, guys, we'll uh, stop there. Hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see you all on Monday. Take care, everybody. Uh, yeah. Teacher, can I sure. say something? Sure. Um, well, we know that you put a lot, a lot of effort in all your classes, so we want to tell you something. Um, guys, can you turn on your camera, please? Qué nervio, qué nervio. Um, we are very grateful to you. Thank you for help us to learn <laughs> and for being very attentive to us. And we really appreciate it. Um, you always help us. So we really appreciate you all your okay your effort. Day by day, we learn something new thanks to you. And okay, we have, or we want to say um, thank you for all your time and thank you for everything. We re we really appreciate it. Wow. Well, Did you guys you just you turn on your camera, please. Uh, my camera is on. Can you see me? Yeah. No. Ah. I can yes, you. Can. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, no, well, you guys just made my day. That's very nice of you. I like to, that's that's awesome. You guys are. Um, uh, you, we have another thing to. Yeah, go ahead. That you can. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's nice. That's that's really pulls at the heartstrings. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, Gary. Well, I'm going to tell you maybe in Spanish because. I don't know how to express it in okay. English. Okay, está bien. But, sí. yes, um, sí, pues le agradecemos mucho que, pues a pesar de toda esta situación, pues ya sabe, ¿verdad? Clases en línea, todo es muy difícil. Y pues igual que todos nuestros profesores, pues siento que usted siempre ha sido como muy accesible, muy flexible con, en cuanto, por ejemplo, a los trabajos, entregarlos otros días. Eh, pues darnos el tiempo que necesitamos y ay qué bueno que le tengo todas esas cosas no que um, 
pues se agradecen porque no, o sea, no cualquier profesor lo hace. Y pues igual nosotros nos damos cuenta, ¿no? Del esfuerzo que, que usted hace, no sé, que nos pone videos de, mm, o sea, de lo que tenemos que hacer y luego aparte de las horas que quedan todas, es estar disponible todo el día para nosotros y pues eso la verdad es que habla muy bien, muy bien de usted y de, su, de, de todos sus esfuerzos, todo lo que hace y pues se, se agradece mucho y pues por eso le hacemos este, a lo mejor es algo muy, muy pequeño así, pero pues lo hacemos con no, I, I really, this really, uh, really, uh, thank you a lot, guys, for, for your, your, your comments. And you guys are just a, a great group. I mean, I really have enjoyed having you guys in class. I know that a lot of times the technology can be difficult and challenging, but, um, you guys are what makes this class work, right? I mean, I'm, I really don't. You know, all I can do is give you some opportunities, but you guys this semester, all of you have really, um, you know, risen to the occasion. You've participated. You've tried new things, maybe things you haven't tried before. And it's all of this is really just a reflection of your hard work and you guys coming together and uh, making sure that you're communicating with me when you guys have uh, questions. And that's really the key. So I, I hope that you take this with your other classes and, and later when you get into the BA, uh, the importance of really working together, relying on each other, and realizing that this is not a competition between you guys, that you're in this together and you're working and helping each other, right? That all of you need to succeed. It's not, you know, we don't want to leave anyone uh, behind. So um, I, I want to thank you guys really for uh, your nice comments. It really does... Uh, make me feel good, and um, you know I don't expect that this kind of uh, feedback um, because of the joy that I get honestly for just being with you guys online um, every day really is is a, a joy. And I hope that you guys are getting into a profession that you have as much enjoyment as I have, uh, helping other learners you know, achieve their goals, right? This is why we get into this profession. It's not because of the money, right? Because we're not going to make a lot of money, but it's the joy of teaching, right? And that's the same joy that I have seeing you guys every single day, right? So thank you guys, really. Uh, you just made my day. I'm going to be in a, a great mood all weekend because of this, for sure. Um, I really appreciate it. And um, I, yeah. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have we've got three more weeks together, and uh, we'll try to finish up this semester. But um, again, thanks, guys. Really, uh, very nice for you to to do this. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.